I'd like to put on the record an apology, which is clearly an apology we'd like to make to you all, to our customers, our shareholders, to the public at large. HSBC, our biggest bank, has spent over a billion pounds in recent years settling issues and saying sorry. I'm sorry to say that I did not understand what later became apparent. From flouting money laundering controls in the US to aid drug cartels and aiding tax evasion, the apologies kept coming. We deeply regret and apologize for the fact that HSBC did not live up to our own expectations. After the apologies, the cleanup. HSBC hired thousands of new staff in compliance roles. But at the HSBC Saudi Arabia division, one of its new profit centers, some of the people hired to uphold standards of the joint venture have questionable qualifications. A Channel 4 News investigation has found that two senior figures hired by HSBC Saudi Arabia have degrees from unaccredited universities. They both got their bachelors from online institutions that have no official accreditation, meaning the standards are not externally checked, and both work in compliance. That's the department meant to enforce standards at the bank. As head of regulatory compliance for the firm, Ashraf Bin Ali had one of the top oversight jobs at the bank, responsible for all compliance related issues for the fund valued at $7 billion at the end of 2013. He had just one degree on his LinkedIn page, a bachelor's in business admin from Kensington University, which has never been officially accredited. In fact, it was banned by authorities from operating in California and then from Hawaii in 2003. It no longer exists. In a statement, HSBC Saudi Arabia said, Senior compliance officers are required to be registered with the relevant regulator after passing professional examinations. Mr. Bin Ali is an experienced professional with more than 18 years of compliance experience. This was the basis for his appointment as Head of Regulatory and Financial Crime Compliance. Independent to this inquiry, Mr. Bin Ali resigned from the company on the 14th of January 2016. It's vital, particularly in compliance, that the banks are scrupulous in how they behave but actually in terms of their own internal systems need to be scrupulous. How can we have HSBC, a major UK-based international bank, not knowing about the people who they're employing at the heart of their organisation? But Mr Bin Ali isn't the only one. Another member of staff working at the HSBC Saudi Arabia Compliance Department that grew substantially in recent years also has an uncredited degree. These two employees at HSBC Saudi Arabia are among dozens of staff we found at international firms who have questionable qualifications. They may have completed a comprehensive syllabus and they may have the experience to do the job, but does this apparent lack of scrutiny point to a weakness of oversight at the banks? It leads to just a loss of confidence, and both in the organisation and in the eye of the public. I think you have to realize just under how much pressure you are if you are in one of those so-called top banks. You can be fired in five minutes and there are constantly new recruits who always bring new and better qualifications. Unaccredited degrees have long been a global problem and for a bank like HSBC it can ill afford anything which undermines the credibility of its staff as it attempts to rebuild its battered trust.